Over the last five years, one of the lessons I've learned is about empowerment, about how to empower my people and how to allow them to grow. It's quite interesting. So I think back five years ago when I first started and some of the very first employees that I brought on board, I found it really hard to let go of the tasks I was doing, the tasks I'd employed them to take over. And that was because I was micromanaging it, effect, if it uh, really. But what I was doing was I couldn't let go because the, what I'd asked them to do, I knew I could do it better. I knew I could do it more efficiently. I knew I could do it faster. And I found it really hard to let go. And I can remember saying to my, one of my mentors back then, how do I stop micromanaging my team? I wanted to, but I just couldn't get there. And the question was, how do I stop micromanaging my team? And my mentor turned around to me and said, Joel, You've bought the dog, let it bark. I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. And he then went on to explain that you've employed this person, you've recruited this person, you've interviewed it, and you've interviewed them, and you've chosen them above everybody else. Now you need to trust your own gut instinct, you need to trust your decision, and you need to let them get on with the job. Yes, they're probably not gonna do it as well as you to begin with. Yes, they're probably not going to do it as fast as you. And yes, they probably won't be as efficient. But even if they work at 80% of your efficiency, that's still running 80%. And then you can take your time and apply it somewhere else. And over time, they will get better. They will get to 85, 90, 95, and eventually 100%, and so on and so forth. And that was a huge lesson for me. And it took me, it took me a long, long time. I'm talking a couple of years to really understand how to do this. I knew I wanted to do it. That was the easy bit, knowing I wanted to do it. How I was gonna execute it was another challenge, and it took me some time to learn that. And once I got there, and I established that, and I could let go, my business grew, and it grew exponentially. And then I kind of got stuck again, because I got up to another tier, and I couldn't let other stuff go. And there's still some bits I struggle with to let go. And, and it became the same challenge again, but at a slightly different level, with slightly different duties and tasks. And it became all about trust, about you've employed these people into certain positions. Now you have to trust them to do the job. People that are in finance that have access to all your bank accounts. People in HR that have access to all the staff files. People in senior management roles that are in and out of different meetings and seeing how the business is going to grow and explode, but also the potential risks that come in. And then some people start to double guess you a little bit. And you've got to just park all of that and go with, I trust you to do this job and then take the step out. And empowerment is all about, for me, it's about kind of, I guess, three things. The first thing is being able to let go. It's your business, it's your baby, but you have to be able to let go of it. And you have to let other people take control. The second thing is putting the tools and the resources in place so the people you're going to empower can take those. So they've got the tools and the information they need, they've got the resources, and they can do it. And the third thing is about having the right people, because not everybody wants to be empowered. Some people are quite content and happy with the role they have, and they don't want to grow, they don't want to set the world on fire, and that's absolutely fine. So it's about picking the right people that want to grow at the right time, because it changes over stages of your life. And I think if you can get those three things right, you're, you're on a really good path to getting things to grow, in whatever industry you're in because you can only grow a company so big as one person and you can only grow a company so big as two people and you can only grow a company so big as 10 people and you can only grow a company so big as 100 people and so on and so forth but you're only going to grow to two people or 10 people or 100 people or a thousand people if you empower them because you can't do everything yourself and, and to me that's the key thing is getting yourself to a position where you can empower other people so you can do the other tasks that you want to do and suddenly an organization grows.